Hello all, good morning, good evening or good afternoon. As we are discussing about Business Central 2024 release wave 2 aka Business Central 25, uh, we'll be talking about access keys with key tips in more languages. Now let's go into a little bit of background of this before we kind of start talking about it. So traditionally in NAV as well as in Business Central, uh, when you wanted to kind of have a keyboard shortcut for a action you typically will write a shortcut key in your VS code. In the Business Central 2022 release, Microsoft enhanced that feature that if there is a shortcut key defined, great. If there is no shortcut key defined, you can actually press the Alt button and it will show you a system generated shortcut key like you see here. And then you can just keep following the shortcut. So like as if I have to navigate to sales i can start clicking on j and then limit down what i what i have with j and if i want to go to sales i can press s and that pops up the sub menu inside it and then i can keep going this way so like if i want to open sales code i can just press s and it'll automatically navigate navigate to that page now this helps our user to do transaction faster so this was released in bc 2022 uh, BC 22 to be very correct but there was a limitation back then so if I go back to version 24 which is this and in this case my language is not English if you look at it my language is Danish and if I try to press the same alt key nothing popped up because the feature was built only for the English languages back then but now in business Central 25 and going forward there is a native support to more languages so now in this environment if i choose the language as danish and i click ok this will refresh my environment to support that particular language which is danish in this case and we'll see what changes with that so my whole client will kind of convert wherever the translations are available uh, to business central to the danish language let me see oh sorry i changed the region i should have changed the language my bad so if i change it to denmark in the language the translation will key in and all my captions for the fields and actions will get translated into danish language now with this as you can see here everything kind of changed to danish now if i press alt key i still have those shortcut the same way so i can go to sales by doing this and then let's say to blanket sales order by doing B so in this particular release which is BC 25 and I'm pretty sure as we go forward into the future there will be more and more languages added right now the full stack of language is not supported but currently what Microsoft have provided is support to English which is already there Danish Dutch Italian French German Spanish Spanish Portuguese, Swedish, Finnish, uh, Polish, Czech, and Irlandic languages. So these are the languages which are supported with the uh, with the access keys. And if you have customers in that region, do talk about it with your customers, because as developers and as consultant, it sounds pretty easy for us that okay, it's just an enhancement. But when you think it from a user perspective it saves the time that it takes for them to key in the data into the system so do talk about it if you have customers in this region so that they can start utilizing the available feature in the next release or in this release and get more productive and save some time for them so that was all for today i'll see you in the next video sooner than later do let me know into the comments what you think about this feature and you know the drill if you like the content hit the like button if you think this is something that your friends and colleagues in the community should know about share this on social media and as i say always if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so it helps us to understand how we are doing should we continue doing this or not so please do the needful i'll see you sooner than later till then keep learning and keep sharing whatever you are learning thank you have a nice day